This is the launch of Apollo 11, July 16, 1969. It's camera E8, which shows the base of the Saturn V vehicle. It's done on 16 millimeter film at 500 frames per second. Now, this particular camera was started at five seconds prior to liftoff. Now, at this speed, what you're going to see in this full eight minutes and 22 seconds is about 30 seconds worth of actual time. Here, ignition sequence start is already started, and the kerosene and liquid oxygen is mixing. The, the F1 engines were started by bursting a hypergolic cartridge, which spun up the turbines to start driving the propellants into the engine. Now you're seeing that liquid oxygen and kerosene mixing and billowing up in the initial stage of starting up those engines. Now, when it reached full thrust and started to get thrust from those five engines, seven and a half million pounds, you see how it sucks all the material back down underneath the vehicle. And that was because now all of that material is going at a tremendous speed and being pushed out into the flame trench and it just sucks all of that all, all of that material back down. On, on the right you see two tail service masts. There's a third one on the other side of the vehicle and around the vehicle you also see four hold down arms. Now the vehicle sat on those hold down arms. There was a mechanism inside there that held it onto the launch pad until liftoff. At T minus zero, those would release after they got the proper signal from the engines that all five engines were running properly. It would release, and as soon as it released, those tail service arms would move, and all the mechanisms would go up into a hood underneath those hoods so that they would be protected from the... Uh, from the exhaust of the engines. You see ice coming down now off the vehicle. You know that the space shuttle is real concerned about um, debris coming off the external tank, which is insulated. And the reason for that is the thermal protection system on the space shuttle, which sits on the side, is, is very delicate and can't be hit by that much. But the Saturn V had no such problem. So the Saturn V's liquid oxygen tank on the first stage wasn't insulated, so you get a lot of ice coming off of it when it hits the vibration. Now you see liftoff has happened, the tail service masts are pulling back up into the hoods, the uh, F1 engines are coming up, and you see that dark band of gas that's coming out of those engines all around, and then you'll see it get to the really bright part. Now that cool gas, it's cooler gas is the reason it's dark, that's coming from the turbine exhaust, and the turbine exhaust is put around, is dumped into the engine around the inside of that nozzle so it would be cooler and would act as something of an insulator on that nozzle extension so it wouldn't get too hot. That central gas is what's coming out of the engine injector where the liquid oxygen and the uh, kerosene is being mixed um, uh, together 